All right, hopefully, or hopefully the owl doesn't come over here and ruin my fucking intro again, man. Fucking asshole. All right, right back. Damn, look at that timing, just came back. Baby. Not the ball with your eyes in it. Chad, I'm taking a gamble, boys. I don't know. So when Blau poured me a glass of whiskey. A couple weeks ago, that fucking asshole was so lazy to put the bottle back in the freezer. But the next day, there was a bunch of flies in it. Now, there was a bottle of whiskey in the freezer with no flies in it. So I don't know, but I don't know if we threw out the other bottle.
Hey, we need food because we're starving. Dang, you like the whiskey that cold? I, I can only drink whiskey if it's ice fucking cold. Is we gonna grow his hair out again? Of course he will, bro. But we're just doing character development right now. Who will grow his hair out again when he's a member of the family and he doesn't feel like, uh, you know, like when you feel like they are a newbie, you want to get straight A's on everything to impress the family. That's where Wu's at right now. But, you know, once he's a seasoned vet, he doesn't give a fuck anymore. And then he'll grow his hair back and do whatever he wants. But I miss Wu cutting his hair. Yeah, he uh, he's an official soldier for the family now. And obviously he took that and is like, oh shit, I need to impress them now. And his way of impressing them now is dressing like them and cutting his hair like them. He is really, really hungry. Oh, and his walk changed too. Because he's trying to fit in and look badass. Can we eat stew? Does it fill us up or no? Oh, there we go. Perfect. I can't tell if that's a local or a player, dude. I love this part. It literally reminds me. Somebody should make a Peaky Blinders gang and live in here, bro. How do you hitch your horse properly? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> what happened to your hair? What happened to your clothes? You look so sharp! haircut yes i gathered that as much i i more meant what caused it 
but wanted to look sharp. Mission accomplished. I feel like I'm gonna cut myself just looking at you. Thank you. Yeah. Is this your first time wearing a suit like that? Yes. Yeah, it, it kind of shows. Hold on. <laughs> it's supposed to wear it kind of straight. It's not supposed to look all wrinkled like that. It's, it's a bit it's a bit difficult to get the track up, but... Uh, I mean, you look good. You look good. Thank you. You'll figure yes. it out. Hey, we got broken into. What? Yeah, you want to check it out? Come on. You, you know you can hitch up your horse inside now, right? You don't have to leave it out here. What do you mean, broken into? Well, look at the first window on the left. Right there. Whoa. Who did this? That's what I would love to find out. There's no, uh, there's no telltale at all of what happened. But that's not all. That is not all. I really like this new walk, actually. Exhibit B. There used to be a painting here, no? Yay! He notices his environment, but that's that's not all. That's not all, my friend. There's oh one last thing. Oh my god. I'm sure you'd notice that all those drawers are open. Who could be stupid enough to do this? That's what I've been walking around the house asking myself for the last 15, 20 minutes. It, I'm, I'm stunned. Whoever it is. They are a master cat burglar. There is not a sign at all of who did this. I don't know if this is the case or not, but we're also missing a few crates. I don't know if one of us just moved them to some place. I don't know. But our crate of medical supplies is completely gone. No idea where it is. This is not good. It's especially not good because we have nothing to work off of. Only thing yes. we can really do is keep our ear to the ground and hear if anybody's trying to sell a painting. Have you checked upstairs? I have. I, I scanned the whole perimeter. I didn't scan every inch of the outside because it's just so fucking big. But I looked around everything. This is all I found. If you want to do a do a sweep, I'll I'll back you up on that. Maybe you'll notice something I didn't. I do only have the one eye. Well, I've never been upstairs before. Oh well, then fuck you. Yeah, come on. You know, yeah. you're, you're a soldat. You're allowed in everywhere of the house now, right? Every every place. I mean, the one thing I'm about to wring your neck for is wearing a coat indoors, but other than that... Yes, sorry, I was just in shock. <laughs> yeah, I get you. No worries. <laughs> Come on, Wood. Don't be slipping up, bro. All right. Uh, So, I mean... It's upstairs. Have you seen all the paintings and all that? You're welcome to look at them before they get stolen. Somebody else just not. came in. Who the fuck just came in? Hold on. Who is that? Oh, Norman. Jesus. You scared the crap out of me. Almost shot. Yeah, it was only a, it was only a flying visit. Is uh, Effie here? Nah, it's just me and Wu right now. This is this is Wu, by the way. Oh, hello, Wu. Nice to meet you. My name is Norman. Oh, you haven't met. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I I figured you two would have met. You just wouldn't recognize him because of his new hair and clothing. Yeah, and I his mean, positive disposition. I mean, look, he's fuck. He won't shut up. This guy. He's so talkative and cheery. Yeah. Maybe met in the past. Passing, you know. I don't know. I don't believe right. we have. Oh. Well, pleasure's all mine. Effie ain't here right now. It's just me and Wu. Well, if you ever do see her, to tell her that I uh, I looked for her person of interest, uh, not in the places I was told, so... Person of no interest? Go. 
Uh, it's a whole thing. Um, Why don't you explain it to me? Uh, so, somebody overheard somebody speaking in a bar. And we're trying to place all the pieces together. And a barman by the name of Sven, who works in Rhodes and Valentine. Uh, we need to speak to him about something. And can't find them. Okay. All right. Um, can I ask you for a favor? Sure. If you hear about anybody trying to sell an Italian painting, could you let us know? We had a bit of a break in. Yeah, we'll do. I think uh, Pearly told me about this. Oh, uh, yeah, they've already seen it? All right, good. Yeah, I think Pearly said he's working on it as well. Okay, good. Is he I, I... Yeah, is he right? Uh, he was. He put his head down about an hour ago. I don't know when he's waking up. Shame. Do you know of anybody else who was aware of what's happened? Um, myself and Effie. Possibly Amadil as well. All right, I'll have to uh, notify the brothers. All right. Well, nice of you to fly by, as you said. Yeah, I thought she was here. I thought I saw her, her horse outside. Uh, was right. it a Shia? It probably is. Maybe. Uh... All right. Well, All right. take it easy. Will you take care? See you later, Ollie. Bye. All right, back to, back to what I was showing you. By the way, what is your last name? I do not have one. Do you want one? No. Because we've been calling you Woo Man, and it kind of sounds like woman. And, like, if you're okay with that, you know, well, whatever, but... It is fine. Well, man, it is. <laughs> so this is the upstairs. Um, here is where we live, but higher off the ground. Um, you'll notice on your left and right there are doors. <laughs> and there are doors in front of you as well. There's two of those. Um, that one leads to the balcony. That you've probably seen. Hey, I'm blind. See that lovely little park from down there? Oh! What are you doing? Who, who goes there? Hey! Who goes there? I'm showing Wu the upstairs because he's never been upstairs apparently. Have you met Olivia? I believe so, yes. Could you do me a favor? Yes. Can you, can you and I'll walk up with you so you're not scared. When we walk up to her, can you just say, how you doing, who -er? I'm sorry. Ask her how you doing, who -er? Like that, who -er. I believe that would get me killed. No, I'll, I'll be right there with you. It'll be fine. I'll make sure she doesn't kill you. Okay. Okay, I got, I got you back. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Well, I want to see the rest of upstairs. If I, I'll, possible. We'll, yeah, I'll show you after the hua bit. It's really important to me this happens as soon as possible. <laughs> I want to expose him, chat. I'm not going to fucking fall with that. This is a test. <laughs> Olivia! Yeah. Where are you? Alright. You met <clears throat> Wu, right? Not formally. Hello. Hello. Ali told me to ask you, how are you doing whore? I said whore, not whore. That makes it sound way worse. Way to preface it with all he asked me. Now she's gonna kill me for sure. Okay, let's let's try this again. Well, I did not want to get killed, so. I told you I was gonna protect you. Well, you don't trust me in my word. Okay, go ahead. Say what you need to say. Yeah, try it again. One more time. Better inflection on the hua bit. I don't know if I want to say that again. No, 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 it's fine. More. It's fine. Just go ahead. One more go. Go ahead. <laughs> 
She's not going to hit you. She's going to hit me. Don't I worry. I really don't want to die. You're not going to die yet. Get. She's already eaten today. We don't have to worry about the McDernosaurus. I'm okay. okay. Are you disobeying a direct order from your capital? <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Or. Oh! God damn it! Oh, forget this whole thing. It would have been so good to hear him say who were. There it is. <laughs> is he knocked out? Hello. Alright, so, uh, continue with the tour of the upstairs? Yes. Hey, Effie, Norman came by. He's been looking for you. Uh, I've been riding around the cross and looking for him. Wait, when did you he come mi by? You missed him by about five minutes. Ah, oh, Jesus. He might be at the post okay. office if you hurry. No, I just came from there. I didn't pass him. All right, get that fucking but, gun off your shoulder when you're in the house. Jesus Christ. Why is there blood on the floor? Um, no reason. All right. Sorry about that detour. It's very important. I'm glad that you're, you're learning how to follow orders. Uh, hey, is uh, anyone else there? Uh, no, I just woke up recently and then Wu came by. I've been showing him that we got broken into. And then oh. that, uh, that I'm also showing him the upstairs, because he hasn't seen upstairs. Okay. Uh, Parley seems to think he knows who did that. Yeah. Wow, really? There wasn't a, a sign at all of anything. It was someone who actually had said that they had noticed the doors were open and that they had went in and all... <sighs> Fuck, what was his name? Give me a minute to think here. It was something really fucking weird. Okay. Wolverine. Let me have a coffee. Let me did you say Wolverine? Out. Yes. Yeah. Who Wolverine. the fuck names that kid Wolverine? What a stupid name. Well, he's a fucking excellent cat burglar. I'm gonna continue showing Woody upstairs now because this is like the eighth time I've been distracted from it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go check out some grounds, but not. This okay. is a locked door. Uh, now, what do we do about locked doors in the house, Will? Hey, don't go in. Very smart. He's learning this one. Very good. This is an unlocked door. Here, this is Alfonso's room. Uh, both of these beds are for him. One cheek on either side. Uh, that's his dresser and Sonny's dresser. Inside that dresser is eight pairs of the identical suit that's just black and white. Uh, that's all Sonny wears. This is a beautiful painting, actually. Very nice. I didn't even notice that painting before. And uh, there's a lovely view of the park outside. Lovely view. You ever been to that park? No. Good park. <laughs> uh, over here is another balcony. <clears throat> now this one... They kind of fucked up the floor planning when we had them build this place. So... There's no door to that balcony. You have to crack a window to get there. And I'll I'll, I'll show you I'll show you how you do that. Yeah. Yeah, he came in the house. This the gardener, is uh, the master bedroom. Basically where we all sleep in a giant Italian cuddle pile. It smells like gabagool and marinara in here. <laughs> oh my oh my god. The bed? As you can see, there are several Italian men probably asleep underneath those covers at the very moment. Don't mind them. They have their, uh, their Parmesan earplugs, so they ain't gonna hear a single thing we're doing. I could fire a shot and they wouldn't wake up. This right here is my storage. Don't go near my storage. I will not. Good. This over here is a lot of other people's storage. Uh, you may you notice underneath it? on the bottom dresser there is a hand and a jaw. Um, best, best to just ignore that. You'll learn about that someday if Furio ever comes back. Just, he loves telling the story, so you can ask him. Um, another beautiful painting. Don't know who that abroad is. Now this shit is new, alright? We had this since 1899. This is some new, brand new technology. 
Have you ever seen a toilet? I'm sorry. A toilet. I'm not it's sure like, what it is. It's like an outhouse, but you don't got to leave the house. It's like an in-house. I see. Is that what that smell is? Well, no, because there's... It's not really smelling because there's plumbing. You take a shit in there, and then it goes down the plumbing. Then you gotta wash it out, and you know you, it'll it'll go out into the fucking the offshoots behind the house. I see. It's excellent. Take a shit. Go on. I, okay. <laughs> you don't have to shit. I do not. Do okay, not but have when you do, today. What is what is the deal with that? I heard you don't like gabagool. That's a very serious thing in this family. I'm not sure if I should say. I would sound very insulting. No, I, wa I want to hear your honest opinion. Because apparently we're thinking about getting you like a crate of your own food if you don't like gabagool. Because that's like pretty much all we have. I would... Well, I eat it to my horse. That's why it's so fucking fat. Yes. Smart. Smart. The more clogged the arteries are, the harder the bullets are going to be to pass through it. I like the way you think. All right. What do you like? What kind of food do you like? You like those thousand-year-old eggs? I heard. I heard you got given one, and you would. You it fucking blew your mind. Yes, that was very good. But just fish, meat. Gabagool is meat. It is meat with layers of things that are not meat. I cannot eat that. Yeah. Delicious, delicious. Wait, that's really not part... That's not meat? That other stuff? I believe not. I'm not sure what it is, but... It tastes like I meat to me. I do not like it. What about Capicola? Have you ever had Capicola? I'm not sure what that is. I, I have some right here on my pocket. Would you like it? I just had some stew at the saloon. You. Capicola is gabagool. It's, uh... So, the thing is, it's part of the accent back in, like, New York where a lot of Italians came in. Capicola, if you say it fast, Capicola, Capicola, Gabagool, Capicola, Gabagool. Get it? Gabagool? It's ca it's Capicola. I it's see. the same thing. I was gonna try to trick you into thinking it was two different meats and see if you actually liked it or if you know, I don't know. I was trying to fuck with you. Anyways. This is a bathtub. In this tub you can bath. Yes. And uh, there, there's a fire right there with a the chimney so like, it can keep nice and warm in here during the winter times. What the fuck is in this crate? A shit ton of wheat. Why do we have a shit ton of wheat next to the toilet? Uh, we also have some cinnamon scented and flavored toilet paper there. Uh, toilet paper, excuse me, I mispronounced that. So, uh... Yeah, if you ask, if you ever run into Sissy, apparently she likes to uh, take shits in the dark and then go to a separate ass wiping room. So you should ask her about that if you don't like the cinnamon <laughs> stuff. <laughs> And we came out on the other side. See how that works? Fucking crazy, right? I see. All right. I want you to experience that door for yourself. Huh? Yes. <laughs> what? What is it? It is locked. Hell yeah, it is, brother. High five. <laughs> that means slap your hand to my hand. <laughs> With force. <laughs> you leave me hanging. Is that an order? No, I'm just trying to bond with you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, see? I got myself with it. I forgot we'd locked that door.
<laughs> that's where we uh that's where we keep Frankie Potts. This is my favorite room upstairs. Oh man. Look down. Recognize that room, right? Yes. Hey. It's real easy though to eavesdrop on a meeting that uh you're having with somebody where you don't want them to know you're here, but you're listening. I'm talking like uh, we did with Effie and Delaney one time. I don't know if you were there for that. I was not. Yeah. He was talking shit on Del or, uh Delaney was talking shit on Effie, telling a bunch of lies and shit about her. And she was just right there waiting the whole time. You should have seen the look on his face when she walked downstairs. Uh, this is a huge library, by the way. We got a tons of books, almost every book you can think of. So if you ever want to come up here and do some reading about a subject or whatever the fuck, you can probably look it up here. Um, I don't know really who keeps it, probably a maid. So if you see a maid or a gardener around here, ask them, I guess. And then uh, we got one more thing. Another balcony. You see. Pretty nice. Yes. It's a very beautiful home. That it is. So what do you think? Like I said, I think it's beautiful. Well, I know you said it's beautiful, but... I mean, what do you think about this being your home? I am not worthy of that. You're a soldat of this family, of course you are. Yes, but... I... feel I still have a lot to prove. Okay. What does it have to do with where you live? Well, a man or a woman is... most vulnerable when they sleep. Yeah. What, are you afraid we're going to kill you in your sleep? No. Then why wouldn't you want to sleep in a house where there's, you know, 12, 13 people who are willing to back you up if something goes wrong? I believe that that's not the level of trust I've acquired yet. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? It's fucking bats again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking day bats. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. What were you saying? I said I don't feel like I've acquired that trust yet. Oh, you think that we think that you're gonna kill us in our sleep? Well, like I said, I believe I still have a lot to prove. Okay, if this is like a personal thing, I'm not going to tell you how to live. I'm just, I want to let you know you're welcome to stay here. This is your home now. These are your brothers and sisters. Yes, and I appreciate that. And maybe one day. Well, all right. Thus ends the uh, upstairs tour of the house. Shall we find Pearly and see... If what he's we do awake, about this situation. Yeah. Or at least ask around about this Wolverine guy. Yes. What kind of a fucking name is Wolverine? Wait a minute. You sure your last name isn't Loverine? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. Anybody still in the house? Hello? Guess not. Yeah, uh, who's a Chinese Brazilian now working for the Italians? It's a very interesting situation he's in. All right. Oh, Tony! See, and look who this is. 
Good to see, see you, Wu. Yeah, I know. Look guy. at his fucking Holy cut, shit. eh? Look at his fucking cut. I can pitch those fucking cheeks. He looks adorable. And hey, go work at the fucking bank. He looks great. Look at him. <laughs> Antonio, that's ah, just peaches. Somebody broke in. Somebody broke in. Somebody broke in. Who the fuck broke in? That's what we're trying to find out. Apparently, did Pearlie fuck, has did he a, steal uh, everything or when? Well, he no. stole a painting by the office, and that's all we saw. But no, no, not again. Look, don't worry about him. What's somebody. wait? So somebody, <sighs> hmm. just now or when? Uh, I don't know. Probably a few hours ago. Um, he took a painting. I was, he runs... I was here about an hour ago. Uh, probably longer than that. I, I couldn't give you an actual I'm estimate. It's not like... Hmm. So what, you think we just take free ass around here? Yeah. Does anybody know any meals that involve donkey meat? Hey, my Pedro, I'm for eating. I mean, if you if you're given a gift, it's for whatever the fuck I want it to be. It's my dog, man. If you, it's my dog, I'll put it down. Your dog? <laughs> dog. It's, it's a, that's the goddamn donkey. Is you gonna eat it? No, we're not gonna eat it. Well, you just you, said you was gonna eat it. Are you threatening me? What? No, little, I'm threatening Pedro. You little fuck! You got a fucking hatchet in your goddamn hand. Yeah, oh, cause it's my dog. I'll put him down. Boys, put the hatchet away, right? What the fuck? Is the dog? Is the dog? Boys, just put, put the, the hatchet away. Hatchet away. Good. <laughs> this isn't a dog. Uh. Man, so what's it like? What's what like? Being wrong. <laughs> That's not. It's I'm a goddamn him. donkey I'm gonna force. Him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Hi, right, hey, ma'am. How you doing? How you doing, actually? Hi Ooh, there, sweetie. Hello. How you doing? Hey, all right. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Huh? What? Ooh, what? You like him instead? I like your coat. You need to decide who you. I right, get the fuck out. Tony's of gotta stop doing I'll see that, you later, dude. Gentlemen. Yeah, you will. You so know that's it, a mighty fine donkey. See, even she thinks it's a donkey. Thank you, but it's a dog, ma'am. Oh God. Where you going? All right, I'll take this little guy inside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just hopped on it. Didn't even fucking stop crossing the his thing, arms. Uh, that's a great question. Wherever Pedro goes, I go. You said you were giving it a gift as a gift. Wait, you're giving it to us or when? Uh, well, well, I got to take him on his journey, and then I'll give him to you. All right, well, we got to talk about some things, and we got to go handle some business, so... I guess if you want to go take him on your journey and then bring him back later, no ways. Alrighty. See you later, boys. Take it easy, all right? <laughs> oh, damn. We gotta see if there's anything else that happened. Okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. I don't, what is what is Guy in the donkey plays Dom, which is insane. Who's Dom? Which one's Dom? I'm sure you realize there was a painting that used to be. Boy, the other guy that was with us, he plays that guy? What the fuck? Jesus. He was here at the house. Pearly is apparently the one who has an idea. We're going to go try to find them right now when we ran into you. All right. Uh, I don't know if he's awake, though. So, uh, Norman said he might have laid his head down. Did they take anything from the kitchen? Uh, I didn't see anything. No. However, are we still, you know still if... there, Antonio? Do not worry about it. 
Jesus. I wish. Do you know if anybody moved the uh, medical supplies? I uh, no, I sure. Because if if not, then they stole our entire crate full of medical supplies. Uh, yeah, I can tell you what was in. Wait, where's the medical supply one? Right over here. It should have been right here on this table. Yeah, it's no, uh, it's not here. There you go, pal. Oh, that's he's what I'm talking it. about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, it's very good. I need to think about. Man, I need to go grab some whiskey. I need to go grab some whiskey from the store later. Just over here. Yeah, you but this some. is Satan. There's, nah, this is Satan. There's a Satan one I want to get from the saloon. He wants uh, to get the I'll one you that sounds like a too. fucking hey, it's a good unearthing fucking a genie from now, its right? bottle. <laughs> For 3,000 years I lay dormant. Who summons me and grants thee three wishes? <laughs> it is me, the whiskey drinker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Take off the coat, give us a little spin. Yeah, all right, give us a little spin. How hold you on, turn? Let me, let me okay, put that on. Let all right. Okay, okay. That's literally Arthur from the Vicky Blinders. Take the best By order off. of the... Uh, sorry. Just look vaguely familiar there for a second. Okay, how you turn? Like it or what? Okay, how you turn? Very nice. How you turn? How you turn? How you turn? All right, how you turn? All right. And whoa, huh? Huh? Pretty fucking nice, to be honest. Uh, well, only took me about two hours. Uh, huh? Yes. Looks okay. C can I hear you try a hair, you darn? <laughs> Do it. How you doing? Come on, you can, you can do it. How you you can do it. Come on. <laughs> How you doing? I got you to call Olivia a whore. You can do this. You called Olivia a whore. <laughs> oh shit. I, he, he, made made he made sure to under to specify it was me who said it so he didn't die, which was smart of him. Hey, what do you yes. know about this girl, by the way? Her name is I I starts with a B. I'm Ba Babe. No, not babe, babe. She's babes? in the fam. Yeah, Babs. Yeah, that's hey, yeah, she's my niece. I love her to death. Why? Why, Antonio? Oh, Dom, Dom was just telling me about it. Oh. I was worried there for a second. You got real silent. No, I just... Just had to, had to catch, uh, catch a man. Does he do that a lot? I'm not sure. Uh, what's the speed limit today, huh, boys? What are we thinking? Uh, well, we're looking for somebody, so let's just walk normally. Full throttle. Yeah, I mean, full throttle, indeed. So we're looking for a Wolverine, and yes, I have already asked. Wu's last name is not Wolverine. So Paley was sitting at the house when this happened, or when? I got no idea. Norman told me that uh, he's he was looking into it, apparently, and then Effie and Olivia told me that they have an idea that it was somebody named Wolverine because he was mentioning how easy it was to come in a house with open doors or something to us. I, I, I'm not 100%. You're gonna watch? Is this the mobile here? White shirt, black vest, it could be any one of us. Yeah, it is him. Yeah, it's Paley, right? No, that's not Paley. Yeah, that's Winchester, I think. Ner What's a nerd neck? Um, Stick him up. This is a robbery. Have you seen Paley? Oh, God! <laughs> what is a nerd neck? I don't think my arms are meant to Jesus that Christ. <laughs> There's a do double that. hug. Don't do that. All right. 
Does anybody know who this Wolverine guy is? Why against Klon and Wu, man? That's the first time I've ever even heard of him. I have no idea where he is, what he looks like, anything. That is... Uh, no. Stupid. Yep. He nope. hangs around apparently he's sparring a bit, though. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we'll I'll around there. I've uh, got some information for you as well. Go on. Yeah. Let's move to the side a bit. <laughs> What, you don't want to do it just down the street from the sheriff's office? What's wrong Ab with you? Absolutely not. That means all of us, come on. Guys are so mean, man. You call me a whore again? What? He was what? ordered to do so. <laughs> oh no, this is going to turn into something bad, I think, if you keep pressing it. <laughs> I'm gonna get in serious trouble if you keep pressing that. I'm just fucking with them, I don't care. I know, I I know. I okay. did not mean it. I know you're you didn't, Wu. You're fine, I, you're I, fine. I, everything's fine. Wu everything's didn't fine. Mean it. Wu didn't mean it, I did. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah. so you're, uh, you're still on the Delaney stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's back in town today, right? I believe so. I uh, saw so some other people. Um... So his brother's back in town, apparently. He's called Isaac Delaney. He was last seen wearing all grey, long coat and a wide hat. Uh, he's got another person wide riding. Wide or white? Wide. Wide. Okay. Uh, he's got another person riding with him called Emily. I don't know her second name. She's wearing fucking cowboy shit. Um, she's got a brown ponytail. She rides a gold horse. And that's what I got for you. Okay, uh -huh. it's, it's better than nothing, I guess. Well, considering it's nothing to do <laughs> with me, and I've just juicy. happened across it, you know, I didn't even dig for this, I just got the information, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, uh, I take it you got that from someone? Yeah. Did they say where they saw them? Uh, I think it was down in Blackwater, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, that's something. Watch your foot, and I think you stepped on a leaf. Are you going looking for him? Or no, we're waiting for him to do something, right? Yeah, he's probably going to do something stupid. No point in delivering a message twice, like Cesare said. We're just looking for this Wolverine guy. Probably going to go uh, look down by Pearly's Bar if you guys haven't been down there. Nope. Be a good place to start. Away we go. All right, let's go. I'm surprised. What was that supposed to mean? <clears throat> you, should, you know how many horse accidents she's had in the last week? I'm gonna head yeah. back to the house, go to sleep. Take oh, care of y'all. Right. All right, have a good night. Take it easy. So is Mondays the weekends of uh, Wild RP I chat? Know, is that it? I thought the Italians would be around for a mission, man. The last week with a horse. Oh, I was gonna say I, I know, but then you brought up the horse part. <laughs> <laughs> I, we made money from the last one, though, so I'll take it. Mondays is our day off. Oh. Where the fuck did you get that bottle of whiskey? I had it in my coat from earlier, right? Surprised I didn't hear it open. Ah, uh, yeah. They just don't open the same. This one. But I was gonna say that's how you save it. Well, if, if you're gonna say it, you know, you just add a s at the end, and then it's it's not a hua, it's a hoos. Yep, yep. Right, right. But then again, calling a woman a horse isn't a uh, good idea. <laughs> uh, it's I think it's bad either Thanks. way. Unless it's Olivia, in which case it's acceptable. Is it acceptable? All these around take the brother's place. He's the next in line. Really. Guys, nobody can ever, dude. If Cesar and Sunny ever perma, I would quit the server. We don't, we don't talk about that. I, I was there. Oh yes. No. No, I didn't. We sacrificed Al. What are you talking about? No. 
midway through. Mid mid no, down. he was there. Shit. I would cry, man. Oliver, I would actually you cry. Who has a nerd neck? Shut up. Guys, don't make me change the walk. I like it, man. Don't worry, it's not loaded. Oh, oh, oh Jesus oh. fucking Christ, Ali! What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Sorry, I, uh, I slipped Jesus a little bit. I was just trying to prove that it wasn't loaded. Fucking but... asshole! And... Fucking head. Are you alright? My bad. Yeah, am I right? Good thing. Hey, you you want a you bandage? No, I'm alright. A little bandage, a little. I got Little you. whiskey. I'll buy you whiskey. I'll, yeah, I'll buy a little whiskey. whiskey would be pretty nice. I'm sorry. Is that right? Glad you didn't fucking pull the mud. fucking trigger. Well, even if I did, it's not loaded. It was the point. Yeah, true, true. It turns out slipping and hitting somebody in the head with a gun still hurts. Hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, it definitely hurts. Nice, good one, good one, nice. Look, I was gonna say something, but not the time. You got hit in the head, and now you forgot it. <laughs> yeah, just about. Wait, doesn't Ollie walk like me? Winchester, why do you walk like that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> oh, oh. How you doing? Uh, nah, I think I'm all right. Too little. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, hey. We should go to the casino boat. The telegram. Do we know what this this bullpen guy looks like? No idea. Meanwhile, all of chat has the same it's neck. Hey, we're a bunch of gamers, chat. We all have a neck like this. Don't worry about it, man. Other guy in the drink. All right. Set of the telegram. How you doing there, mister? Hey, any of you have any uh, oh, medical knowledge? Uh, uh, oh, God. You got, you got Sorry, horse insurance? Was horse insurance? You got horse insurance? You just no, I down? don't have... No, I didn't knock you down. You Do any of you insurance? have medical uh, knowledge whatsoever? Yeah, you know, I know a couple of things. Why? What's what's going uh, on? Do you know Colin? Colin Carver? Colin Cavin. Yeah. No, I don't think I do. No. Oh. Well, he just got cut up by uh, that Dr. Creed fella. In the uh, city? Yeah, in the city. What? I found well, him over by the... Uh, what? The uh, butcher there. I brought him over to the medical office. And who did this? I need to uh, I need to find a doctor Creed. right away for him. It's about Creed. Oh, Creed. Fuck that's how he's calling with a knife in the sea. Yeah, he cut the words Molly into his chest and uh, cut up his face too. Jesus Christ. What the uh, hell's yeah. going on? No, he's, uh, I brought him to the medical office, but I'm trying to find a doctor for him right now. Have you sent an aid on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm so, gonna keep running. Wait, it was, it was Creed? It yeah, was Creed. Dr. Creed. In the city? Yes, in the city. I found Colin bleeding on the floor, just over by the butchers. There's a dead you horse sure? over by the telegram station as well. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. Are you yeah, sure it happened in the city or did they I'm, just drop him off in the city? I'm very confident it happened in the city. There's definitely a dead horse outside the telegram. Yeah. Okay. How is okay. he? Is he awake and... Yeah, he's... Well, no, he fell unconscious again. I've got... Uh, uh, Cassie's looking after him at the moment to All at right. least start, try and stop the bleeding. Let's uh, stop by the gun store for a completely unrelated reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh... Well, another mission, chat. They're just piling up right now. Looks like they didn't want to wait for uh, that talk.
Ali, who oh, is this guy? Let's go, let's go hunting. That Dr. Guy Cream? The no, the doctor what? he's talking to. The one who's got his face cut up. The guy oh, we were just talking to? Or? Yeah, he said or he said some guy got his face cut up or something like that. Oh, that guy. I, I got no idea who that guy is. He was It was done by Dr. Creed. That guy we just talked to was Wesley Shields. The guy who got cut up, his name is Colin. I think we've met him a couple times, but nothing too extensive. They did it here in the town. Yeah. From the sounds of it, yeah. Yep. Not in that fucking town. That's what I'm talking hey, about. Yeah. There's to Tony Corleone. If Colin's awake again, one of us could run around just to make sure he, where it happened. Okay. This comes after a, uh, a meeting he had, Creed had with us, asking if he could do something in the city with uh, some badge holders. Told him uh, to wait on it. What's that? I'm going to walk no, up go to on. the doctors just see if he's awake. All right. Keep, keep going. I thought you were done. Sorry about that. Chad, did we run this part of town where the J Dragon is at? I gotta reach out to reach out to Moss yeah. to see if he'd be down to make a restaurant for Red Dead, bro. He's the only person I can see making a custom interior actually look good in this game. Chest. I'll send a message. A bump. That's gonna be a little obvious. Yeah. Make sure your guns are fucking clean. Sure, you got ammo. Make sure you got Earl. How do you? Hey, doing? I guess. Okay. Oh yeah. I am hungry. Anything I can help y'all with? Hey, appreciate that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, no, I think I think we're actually. You know what? Give me a uh, fifty rifle ammunition. All right, then that'll be uh, twelve dollars. Twelve, yeah, twelve dollars. Save the fifty. All right. Was buying anything? We're dude. Woo's good to go, man. We got ammo. No Gun is clean. We're chilling. You know, you could just get it cleaned in there. Yeah, but you don't light in and shit. So apparently, uh, he doesn't think it happened in the city. Um, he thinks he was just left at the butchers. That's more what I was leaning towards when he told us the story initially, but... I mean, either way, he's still leaving bodies in the city. Leaving it at the doctors would be one thing, but leaving it at the butchers, that is something different. We buy our meat from there, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's gonna be Colin flavored. Colin. You said Colin. Yeah, that's his name, the guy that got fucked I thought up. you said Colin. No, Colin. Like, I don't want to I don't, I don't uh, eat Colin flavored, but I, I really don't, don't want to eat Colin flavored. Yeah, no, but I don't, yeah. Are we missing somebody? Uh, yeah, she's right behind you. Uh, no, I feel like... Yeah. To... So where do you want to go? Telegram or...? Uh, yeah, we'll check telegrams. We did have Effie, but she went to sleep. You know, is, uh... Is Taipan around? Nope. Uh, no, there's a fancy okay. fellow with a cowboy head and a mustache in there, though. No, it's not a doctor, I don't think. You never know unless you ask. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Her pop stream is pretty low, bro. There's a hundred and... How much money do you think 26 people maybe on, could, bro. Maybe I could trick him into thinking I'm a duck. How the fuck... How the fuck do you doctor? determine the how server pop make? being low when we ran into, like, like yeah, 10 like, people in one area? Being a doctor? I mean, how hard is it? Out of the entire map. You can't fake being a doctor. You fake being <laughs> a doctor, sure you're you gonna can. fucking kill somebody. You ain't gonna make no money. You just stitch this to that and right. put this on right. that and you're a doctor. Boys, boys. All right. Uh, maybe we should go to the telegram. What do you think? Yeah, we're just waiting on Olivia. Oh, all right. There she is. Ta 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 day. Telegrams are this way, Will. Do we need to get you new glasses? <laughs>
I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Check out this butcher as well. When Wu emotes, probably never, man. I'm too lazy. To Guys, I haven't updated my emotes in God knows how long. There's yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, so maybe we don't play Red Dead on Mondays if all the Italians take it off. Well, there's a dead horse. We are getting into some into some RP right now. I was excited for the mission today, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Jesus. Hey, how you doing there, Sanctum? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. How you been? Did you guys do this? Is this your ass's fault? Just wow. Wow. I'm Hell of an assumption. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I watch you and walk up. Okay, because we've had questions like that asked to us before. Yeah, I can imagine. No, we didn't do this. It was apparently, uh... Somebody, I don't know. Moving on. Whose horse is this? They are Probably having here. Right? No idea. That's good. Good question. I know it's I not know mine. It's it does it's look like mine, though. It's not my son. I think it's an issue. Remember, chat, I cannot do... Um, well, hey, you mind know, if we pop in the casino real quick? I don't think it would be hey, a bad uh, idea. Antonio, actually. Hey, what's going on, Sanctum? Hey, Ollie. Did you get that telegram from Kepo? Ollie. Oh, come here, though. Got more stuff to tell you about. And we're going to be hosting another theater event sometime soon. I'm talking to Al about it. But I. Uh, oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know, okay? All right, perfect. Yeah. All right. Just let Make me know. it easy. Be safe out there. Yeah, no promises. Keep it chin up. I used to sell the marked weapons and stuff. Um, she used to buy them by the crate load. She just reached out to me saying, I know things between our two groups aren't great at the minute, but uh, if you've got any stuff for sale, uh, reach out. Which to me sounds like they're trying to bait me into a trap. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. It's a trick. Send no reply. Yeah, I wasn't planning on sending a reply, but we could uh, use that in our favor if needed. We're not at war with Cuddleman. We have no reason to be. We're just not doing business with him. Is Wu capable of love? Yeah, the only fat ass he loves to eat every night is fucking Irma's, man. <laughs> or in Wild RP, would we'll call her Abatha. Abby hates it when I call her that too. <laughs> okay, Abigail's better actually. Yeah, that's definitely more uh, suited. What? Huh? Oh, she hates Abigail, not Abatha. So we'll call her Abigail yeah, instead. Boy, you fucking dusting. Jesus. Antonio, what are we doing here? 
Hey, I just wanted to see if anybody was here that, you know, maybe matched the description of the guy, you know, and just in case he's still in town. Better not be gambling. Hey, listen, all I'm saying is guy steals a painting, he sells it, where's he gonna take the money? Could he's be a gambling a guy, you know what I mean? The door's locked. Thought you need that. No, I don't go gambling. Oh, fuck, woo. Chill, woo. Just leave, bro. Woo, just leave, man. What are you doing, oh, bro? No, my money just fell on the table. I'm Ooh, just leave, bro. All right. Should we head back to the house? See if Santino and Cesare is around. Ooh, just leave, man. Uh, I don't think they're going to be around today. All right, no ways. Whoa, you better not be gambling. Ooh, just leave, bro. You got to pay your debt this week, man. Whoa. Son of a bitch, whoa. Ooh, just leave, man. Just leave. <clears throat> just in a moment. I'm getting the itch. I'm getting the itch. I'm so disappointed in both of you. <laughs> yep. This is not what we're here for, Wu. <laughs> Just a moment. I lost. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not lose Antonio. Yeah, I know you didn't lose. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is happening? How much did you win? 875. Dollars. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, that's eight weeks right there, pal. That's fucking eight weeks. Yes. See anything that resembles a human? All right, chat. So we've learned. I mean, we'll still do Red Dead on Mondays, but uh, I was definitely excited for the Italian mission today. I didn't realize it took Mondays off. Olivia, tomorrow, we're going to have a packed day on GTA, so hopefully we can get on Red Dead. How do we find this guy? I have no idea, to be honest. I mean, probably just running back the routes that we took uh, the other day. Gonna be our best bet. I, uh, hey, same I, thing. I got an item to return to Cesare if any of y'all want to take it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. I just gonna clear out some storage and want to throw it away. Well, 
Appreciate you coming to us. I'll make sure he gets it. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, take... take it easy, Aaron. Yeah, he's one. Well. It was a knife. Oh, a special knife. It says Cesare Dicenzo, five twenty-five return. Uh, so that person's injured, in pain. Yes. yes. Maybe no, she should go to a doctor. I'm not sure. Hey, Ali, how well you know uh, Peaches? Not at all, why? I was just Antonio's in love with her. Things. I'm not in love, all right? You know, uh... Oh, what the fuck is the game called? Dead... Yeah, I don't know, it's some fucking shit. Dead End Kids? Yeah, Dead End Kids. You know anything about them? They sound familiar. Well, please. Wallabies? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy bunch of fuckers who would fake their own death to rob everybody who shows up at the funeral. Alright, so what she said is true. What'd she say? Well, I mean, she lost it, you know, a loved one recently. You know, like I'll tell you at the house. And that's why Antonio is interested. I'm not interested, alright? Because there's a vacancy? No, there's no yes. vacancy. Okay, there is a vacancy, but look, all I'm saying is, all right, I'm just, you know, curious. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> it's real cute. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm happy for you, really. No, not in that way. Look, I'm curious because of the way a lot of things have been happening in town recently. Yeah, I bet a lot of things have been happening in town. Okay, all right. Take it <laughs> easy. Take it easy. Uh, I bet, yeah. He runs back to horse, times. yeah. Actually, Good Antonio, times. we need to grab the laptop and sign up for boosting with the s plus horse. What kind of event you think I should host next at the theater here? You know what? How you actually said it, guys. Come this on. Really? You think that show. low of me? <laughs> Game show would be good. Damn. Uh, you do your own events. I, I have something I want to talk to you about. All right. You have a uh, knack for setting these kind of events up. You get you mm -hmm. get the turnouts. So. Yeah, I think we Maybe. could definitely host another one. Maybe not as much people as last time, but you know. Probably a bit less. I mean, it Probably wasn't, not. Not yeah. in a major city. It wasn't too bad, but you know, could have been. Could have been a could little been a bit worse. better. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I've been trying to get this uh, punch drunk tournament thing started for a long time. Uh, it's you... the game. What do you get you people might... extremely drunk and then punch? Yes. Fight. Mm -hmm. You get oh, extremely that's... drunk and then you fight each other. But there's there's other facets to it as well. Uh, you both rent the cheapest wagon there is, get absolutely fucking hammered, and do a demolition derby with each of them. Last wagon standing wins. And then there's <laughs> the uh, drunk horse boxing where you basically do a uh, a, a race on a horse while drunk while fighting each other. Hmm. That sounds pretty interesting, to be honest. Can you ram yeah. people with a horse? Because that would do great. You have a natural gift. I'm surprised with how many fucking gardeners we go by. I think you're like the third one by now. Hey, good to see you, Dan. Did you break into this fucking house? Whoa, Did hey, you break hey, into this hey, fucking hey. house? Oh, come to. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Take, take it fucking easy. Let him go. Let him go. Who was it? 
It wasn't fucking I, him. Come on, let him go. I don't, I don't know. Who's just, he told he told me who it was. Jesus fuck. Oliver, you can't be fucking doing that shit, man. Hey, you all right? Uh, you good? You, you can have that. I'm all right. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, <laughs> tell me what you told me, okay? Hey, come on. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Yes. I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Oliver, if I offended you by not speaking clearly. Uh, when I was doing gardening work, uh, a gentleman barred through the door like a well gate, like a headless chicken. It came rushing. <laughs> I'm sorry, just my oh, friends. Been... Joke, let her come on. It, he came running in, and I realized he wasn't dressed very sharp like all of you. He was dressed like a raffian feather. So I approached him and I asked, "Is it Suwu chat? What, what are you doing by the side door? Because he wasn't going for the front entrance. He was going for for the back entrance." And he said, "Oh, uh, I'm looking for the owner of the house." And and I said, uh, well, he's out, so I don't think that's possible. And then, and then he he said he's looking for work, and I asked uh, what sort of work, security or mercenary work, possibly, because he looked uh, well armed for the job. And he said, no, the lawless kind. And and uh, I I asked, oh, oh, well, that's not of my concern I, I shouldn't ask about that and he's then i asked uh, uh if you'd like me to leave a message i could take your name sir and he he said oh uh you can call me the wolverine damn and so he actually asked, knows no first name or surname and he said no the wolverine yes You have a description of this Wolverine? Yes, Mr. Oliver, sir. Uh, blonde. Uh, sideburns. Quite bushy ones. Uh, ruffian clothing. Not very stylish at all. Uh, a hat with a flat brim. Mr. Oliver, sir. A flat brim like mine? Or like what? No, not a, not a flat cap. Uh, a hat with a flat brim. So, so oh, you can cue with me now. No, no, sir. Bye. All right, calm down. Come on, come on, come on. Look calm out. Down. Calm down. Yes, sir. You're, you're not in trouble. No one's gonna hurt you. All right. Just, come, just, come. You want some cocaine? No, sir. No. You me. sure? I think some cocaine will calm you right down. Uh, no. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Wu definitely hates this, but he's trying to look cool. I mean, how cool was that? Come on. Did, did I? <coughs> did, did I hurt yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Just you, no. you did. Okay, Dom. Thank you. Yeah. I was asking him, not you. I'm sorry, Mr. Oliver. You I got should, nothing to apologize for. I should be more. Come here. Yes, sir. I, I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. I choked you out a little bit there. Uh, oh. Maybe that'll help with the, uh, the... I mean, your neck looks fat. I'm just going to say it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I'll go and remove some weeds, sir. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Doing a, doing a fantastic job. Never breaking this fucking house. I would never, sir. It's beyond my morals, sir. All right. May Get I out pass? of here, you crazy kid. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Hey, see you later, Rab. Take it easy. Uh, yes. I want him to ask for the hat back. I like that guy. 
think I was joking about that. I met him today. He's a good guy. I mean, I wasn't Man, even you scared the him. life out of him. Jesus. Yeah, he's a good gardener. Our only gardener so far. But how do I take the hat off? Oh my god, I can't take the hat off? Oh, there we go. It goes with the coat. I see. You want me to hire more talkative gardeners for you, Dom? You like oh. talking, do you? No, I don't like fucking talking to the guy. He comes up and actually lets us know when he's done with stuff. When he's going on breaks. How long he's going to be. Where he's going to be at. Yeah, and he can he, pay he very well. types of trim. Do you know types of trims? I don't fucking know types of trims. I don't do types of trims, but apparently I have to put up with a whole lot of lip. What? At first, ah. I thought you were busting balls, but now you're starting to get on my fucking nerves a little bit. Look, I'm sorry. All right. I love you, Dom, but watch your fucking tone. Damn. You got it. Be inside the kitchen, just gonna eat some food in the meantime. Hey, Ali, yeah, he's going to be in the cool. kitchen eating some food for like uh, 10 minutes. It's a long time to eat a meal. All right. You, yeah, you're going to watch in the corner while he does that? Actually, I want some chips. No. Okay, you just walked up with him. I thought that's what you were. All right. <laughs> nice we already chips. knew hungry. that, though. Pearly knew it. I don't know where he is, but apparently, according to Norman, who talked to Effie, who talked to Olivia, Pearlie already knew that it was some guy calling himself the Wolverine. Is he, he talking to me? confirmed what we already know. Yes. Yeah, Pearlie, yeah, he was telling me about this earlier. The guy was telling me about what he saw. So. And he's been dramatic. I barely even, barely choked him at all. He could still breathe. He's he can fine. breathe just He's fine. fine. I didn't punch him or anything. He almost got a free Uncle Ollie's chiropractic adjustment. Honestly, he should he should be paying me. That's a three hundred dollar procedure right That's there. That's a three hundred dollars. Well, do you want a uh, or anybody really? Does anybody want a Uncle Ollie's chiropractic adjustment? I think Winchester was saying that he could really go for one. There is there is a family and friends <sighs> It's only a hundred dollars. <laughs> it's a good deal. Think I'll pass. Yeah. So it's a really good Lines deal. Lines you right up. Ask Tony. I I I set him straight. Hmm. The lower back pain. Need one bus. Don't walk away from me. <laughs> that wasn't an order. No, you, you can walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I like how literally. <laughs> Who's a loyal soldier, man? What do you want from me, Zuko? All right, chat. I have to pee. That's why I walked away. It's the whiskey, man. It's the whiskey. Whiskey on an empty stomach? Bad idea. Really bad idea. Wait, Ollie's not Marcus, right? Is he? Does he play Marcus? No, I was going to say, dude, holy shit. We haven't seen Marcus in a while. All right, I'll be right back. Up here real quick.
All right. Quick pee, quick pee, man. Yeah, we have 1100 bucks now. Easy. Easy. Being all by yourself, handsome? Yes. Thank you guys for all the subs today, chat. I haven't read a single one, but I do appreciate it, boys. Keep the dream alive, man. Keep the dream alive. As long as you're a successful streamer, you're not going to Facebook, man. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to eat my goddamn food, you asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking name. Whoever calls himself the Wolverine is a motherfucking stupid ass. It's like ghost. What, what, what is it with these people? People love to name themselves stupid fuck. I don't think anybody fully understands. Calling yourself something guarantees it's going to be stupid. <laughs> if somebody else comes up with a nickname for you, good or bad, that's what sticks. I didn't start yeah. calling myself Mad Dog. Furio did. And I was like, eh, I don't love it. And then it caught on. Right. I still I still don't love it, but I still get called it. <laughs> nicknames. Nicknames. Anyways, this uh, Wolverine guy, know. he's... I'm doing okay. Yeah, this donkey guy. Wolverine guy, not Donkey uh, yeah. guy. Yeah, Wolverine. This Wolverine guy, he's apparently wears real ragged clothes. Uh, he's got blonde hair, mutton chops, uh, wears a flat brimmed cap. And uh, apparently our gardener saw him. Or, or Rolf saw him. Rob, Rolf, whatever. Motherfucker. Uh, he said he wanted to uh, speak with the the uh, the man of the house or something along those lines. Said he was interested in less than legal work, which is that's just the most. You basically just told me you're a cop. If you ask that, right, right, and his idea to get that was to rob the house. Apparently. Maybe he was in a twisted, fucked up way. He was like, he took, oh, uh, I bet they'll be impressed if I take a painting. He didn't just take a painting. He took the fucking medical supplies, too. What? He took an, he took an entire crate of medical supplies. Uh-huh. Mother... For that alone, I want to stab him to death. The disrespect. The disrespect. <laughs> yep. I mean, we got to... It's unfortunately part of the uh, part of the deal with these fucking crates that you can't lock. You know, they're anybody can come in and steal them. Right, right. But still, the disrespect. I know, I know. We're looking for him. He's blonde, mutton chops, flat print cap, dresses rugged. Right. It sounds like, like that Billy Joe guy, but uh, he doesn't have mutton chops. He has got this uh, weird ass mustache going on. He has yeah. only got a mustache right now, so I think he doesn't have a mustache chops. So, how do we plan to find him? I'm pretty sure he'll come around if he was asking for work. Maybe he believe he is that stupid. I'm not entirely sure how stupid this guy is. I mean... 
If they just steal a painting and a bag of medical supplies from a house, he doesn't even fucking know how many people live in. Pissing it, pissing everyone off in, in there. So, I wouldn't count that he's the smartest guy of the earth. Yes, I agree. You know, he tells his name, hey, I'm the Wolverine, and then just, you know, four people just drag him to one of the alleyways and beat the shit out of him. Because it could literally be anywhere in the city. Because he goes to the barber shop, goes to the fucking uh, telegram station, goes to the bed still, whatever. Yeah, we got to find out more about this guy, but I mean, he stole from us and not only a little bit, but a lot. That's. I mean, he's I'm either going to go find the gardener. Or... He might know more. I'm pretty sure he told us everything he knows. Well. <laughs> okay. New horse, Dean. <laughs> Guys, we only get a new horse when this one dies somehow in RP. Right now, uh, Wu's actually been taking pretty good care of him, man. Oh, there's a bed in here. What the fuck? Where was Pearly's bar? It's probably marked on the map. Right there.
Damn, man. See, that needs quiet today, boys. We have to venture out. I wonder if there's like a house or someplace here we could stay at. Do you guys know, chat? Like for the future? Oh, there's a guy right there. I don't see sideburns though. That's a woman, no sideburns, obviously. Oh, wait, 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 what's well, going on over here? Uh, name is uh, Emily. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, that's people that's on our side, what's right? That? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I can't tell if the guy's got sideburns or not, man. Oh, he definitely got sketched out, though. Guys, the only way I leave Wild RP is if Sunny so, and Cesar uh, Perma, man. What's going on here in the city, man? You looking for something? I sound like Jack Kettleman. I'm sorry. Howdy. Hello. You're right there, fella. Yes, I am okay. Are you okay? All right. Yeah, it just seemed like you were following me. And so what if I was? Why are you following me? Well, what is your name? James Kelly. See. Si. Do you have a nickname? James Kelly. No, I don't have a nickname. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Hold on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was, what's that about? I'm real confused at the moment, fella. It is some private business. That you need my name for? Yes. And then you come with me. We can talk about this private business. I do not wish to go with you. Ooh. Why not? Why would I? Well, because I'm real curious as to why you come up to me after following me, asking for my name, and then saying it's private business. It ain't too private with me. Okay. I will come. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see what hey, this guy wants, bro. Y'all got horse insurance for the way you're going around there with that horse? <laughs> I love yeah, that people yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, who's yeah, rap, man, because he yeah, still yeah, really yeah, is yeah. a nobody outside St. Denise. This is good. Oh, he's gonna rob my shit. Oh, 100% we're getting robbed or shot. Oh, 
What's your name, fellow? My name is Wu. Wu. Yes. You with anyone around there, Wu? Yes. I work for the Dechenzos. Oh, I see. Do something, bro, please. And um, you need my name for that? Yes. They want to speak with me or something? No, not you. But we are looking for someone. And who would that be? I'm not sure his real name, but he calls himself a Wolverine. Wolverine? Yes. You need help with that? I mean, any information you have, we will pay. You sure ain't looking for those little fluffy animals that look like a badger? See, that is what I thought, but I'm not sure that is what we look for. This man broke into their house. So we would like to find him. I see, so you're just asking random people on the street if they are Wolverine. Yes. You know a lady named Sloan, Mr. Wu? I am not sure who that is. I think she does some work with uh, your people. She's a doctor, well, a surgeon. I see. You are uh, newly associated with the Dicenzos, or you've been around for a while? I don't <laughs> think I've heard of any Wu. You could say it's fairly new, yes. Interesting. You want to get a drink with me, Wu? I'm feeling real lonely. I could use some whiskey, yes. I said to the bar then, shall we? Oh, please fuck me up. <laughs> so what do you do around here, Will? So I was looking for a Wolverine. And asking people's names. I do whatever the Dicentos ask me of. Let's see. They pay you well. I would say they do, yes. What do you ask? I don't really. I don't, pardon? What do I ask? I don't yes. know, just making small talk. I don't know my, my way around this city. You know which way the bar is? Is it down the street or is it up the street? Well, I think it's up. Depends on the bar. It's, it's this way, here. yes. Yeah, I, know, I usually like the blue pearl, but the fancy one does some, you know, put some nice drinks in there. We're kind of talking very openly. Well, Wu is still very naive, Chad. He pretends to be a hard criminal, but he's not. I mean, he doesn't even really pretend either. You got many friends in the city besides the Dicenzos, fella? I don't have any friends. Keep it in mind. What's that? I'm not sure. I'm not very fond of people. <laughs> Me either, fella. I can't tell yeah, I if this guy's it. Yeah, it's over here. I can't tell if this guy's gonna fuck me up or not. drink only whiskey oh, Irish scotch or just whiskey it 
does not matter the kind. I'm an Irish man myself. The whiskey, that is. Thank you. So, how did you want to have a drink? I'm bored, to be honest with you. <laughs> Been having some problems. What kind? Say you don't have friends. Will you ever had a friend, a real good one? Maybe a couple, maybe a group. Maybe once upon a time, but it's been a long time. Ever had one of those real good friends, maybe stab you in the neck or pull a gun on you, backstab? You know that feeling, Woo? Actually, yes, I do. That's why I'm at a bar drinking with strangers. As you said, I don't really like people. People I'm with right now, that is. I haven't lost hope. And who are you with? Oh, they're nobodies anymore. They threw away the one thing that made them something. Jack Kettleman. Oh, shit. What do you mean? You see, a group without a leader is just a group of friends running around, running amok without consequences, without any direction. It's a real sad thing. It's a real pathetic thing. And I'm confused. Is Jack Kettleman dead? No, no, he's just in physical for a long time without any people having his back. Damn. But one... And Ever had a mentor, Mr. Wu? Well. Someone you look up to, maybe your father, your pa, someone else. I have two, yes. What would you do if everyone turned their back on him and he only had one person left? Would you stay with him? Well. I like to think myself as an honorable man, so... Yes. You see yourself as a loyal man? You'd have that back? Yes, I would. That's what I'm thinking too. You see, we've done a lot of things around here. Not really good things or bad. I don't really like to put a label on stuff. Feels like a lot of actions have lost their meaning around here. And talking about mentors, mine always says the uh, only thing people listen to around here is violence. I used to work that way and it didn't get me nowhere. I tried something new, it didn't get me anywhere either. I'm in a real weird spot right now, figuring out what I'm going to do in the future. What's your take on that? Well, why do you feel you're in this spot? Because Jack Cutterman is gone. He ain't gone. His people are mentally. You said you got you got a war with the biggest, baddest fellow on the cross, and people lose their shit. Run around like headless chickens, start blowing up ice cream stores, talking shit to the wrong people. Wait. Did you do that? No, of course not. Not a fucking kid. Not anymore. I see. And who did? I think you already know that. They've already been punished for it. That is true, yes. I do know. 
but it seemed very Don't run random. Don't like me, the fella. That little rat prick is the reason that I'm not there anymore. You see, when you put in so much work, where you get somewhere with people, you do everything for them, and they turn their back on you for some little fucking scoundrel piece of shit who has done nothing but whine and whinge and complain and make problems all their fucking life. That's what I'm feeling right now, Will. So? After then... you kill the biggest fucking mob boss in the crossing and you gun down someone who ain't ever been humbled before, someone who runs the crossing, put in work countless times, you do everything you can and people still don't fucking realise... That's who I'm feeling right now, Will. Well, I'm not sure what to say. I always feel lost, but I do not mind that feeling. After you gun down some of your closest friends, for the people who don't ask much of you, you just do it. And they treat it like it was nothing. They try and leave New Mexico with some fucking another whiny mutt who doesn't do anything either. You see, where people value emotions over facts, they value friends over their family, they value the tummy feeling they get when they talk to someone. It's real cute. It's real fucking pathetic as well. That is why I do not. Like no one people. values work no more, Wu. No one values the hard things that need to be done. Everyone values their friendships and people that love them and care for them. They say those things, but they don't really mean it. They don't prove it. See, well, I've always been a man who likes to prove what they say, but it didn't get me nowhere. Maybe I would have been better off being a little kid running around. I feel like I'm about to get killed. Making feel good, being charismatic, telling people the things they want to hear. But that ain't how life works, Will, when these people don't understand it. believe not being an honest man is not good it does not matter where it takes you if you die with honor it's a good death I agree Some people need to die, Will. That's also a thing. Well, I am not one to make that decision. I guess that's one thing we differ on. I've always been that person. People, thought, people say I'm controlling. I like to control things. Maybe I do. You believe who you follow, I guess, is the question. Maybe that's a problem, Will. I don't think I've ever been much of a follower. I've always liked to make my own decisions. And my mentor was the one who made me see that, actually. That still didn't work out too well, not yet at least. But I also ain't the one to give up, so I'm not too sure. Well, then it sounds like you are a man of honor. That is a good man. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm good. Wouldn't say I'm bad either. I don't like those two words, to be honest with you. Well, and you are an honorable man. Howdy. That is not a bad or a good thing. Would you say that? About yourself as well, Mr. Wu. Well. That is the code that I live by. I cannot be an honorable man. I do not wish to be alive. So 
see. Oh no, it's not really a thing I thought about. Really, I guess I wasn't raised that way. Thinking about it now, I guess that is a good descriptive word of me. I don't know. I don't know much anymore. We used to think I did a lot. He said, "Thought I knew it all. Thought if I put in the work, if I gained some respect, if I did everything I could for the people around me, it would make me make them treat me different." I was always looked down upon. Wu, use my actions to get an upper hand on that. Yeah, it worked to some people. I guess the people that really matter. But as I said, everyone's blinded by their fucking feelings. Yes, Ep I can agree. James. Howdy, Sloan. Howdy. <laughs> this is the woman I was looking for, Lou. No. I will let you be then, but sorry <clears throat> for following you. I'm just trying to no, do my I'll job. No, you to. That's no, fine. It's fine. Take care. You too. It was, it was nice talking to you. I love not knowing anything that's going on, and then later when somebody mentions something, we're like, oh my god. It's that one time that guy said something. How close to death you were in that alley. I kind of wanted not to say we were with the Dicenzos, but that's not what we would have done. Like, he's always going to just say up front what the fuck's going on. But it would have been interesting to see if he didn't have that info. Who's talking a lot more? Well, yeah, I mean, he's. You guys gotta understand that he's operating for. How do I explain this? All of whose actions are not his own anymore. He's doing it to help build uh, Sonny and Cesar's legacy, right? That's why he's wearing a suit. That's why he got a haircut. He would never do any of these things, but now there's like a goal in mind for him as to why he does. This dude's following me. I'm about to get killed. He's acting as a representative. That's pretty much it. He's a representation of the family. That's why he changed. He's changing everything that he does. Sideburns, sideburns, no sideburns. Sideburns? No sideburns? Wait, he got changed. Wait, is that a... What? Who? That's you. Yes, it's me. Hey, uh, Wu, did you see where the guys went? I'm not sure. I'm... Yeah, they were, they're out here looking for you. Well, I was going to go back to the house. All right, well, I guess I'll accompany you, all right? This guy right here is acting so sus, bruh.
I know you. <laughs> oh, this is hey. the guy who almost choked on his trumpet. <laughs> okay, all right, goodbye. <laughs> I don't think we know each Good other. Goodbye, you. goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Dom. <laughs> Yeah, 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 choked on a trumpet. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that weren't me. That wasn't me. Right. So you didn't see any of them out there at all? I did not, but I did run into a man who I thought was going to try and kill me. What the fuck? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, well, what are you talking about? Somebody was going to try and kill you? What? I don't know. Come on, let's go in the house. Yes. He's uh, stuck in a little bit. All right, appreciate you. Oh, hey. Hey! Yeah, all right. Well, whenever you want. It's ready. Well, I went to oh, town to try to get more information on this Wolverine, and I ran into a man who, as he claimed to have been one of Jack Kettleman's followers, and he seemed disgruntled said Jack was in Sisica for a long time, so he lost his mentor and wasn't sure what to do. Yeah, do you know who? He said his name was... James something. James Kelly? Kelly. Yes. Yeah. I believe that was him. He Kelly seemed annoyed that I was yeah. asking who he was, and... I was simply just trying I mean, to find this Wolverine man. Without... Without Kettleman, they're all just headless chickens, you know? They, they have no purpose, so they're probably scattered all over the show. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we got information on this Wolverine guy. We don't have much, but... The gardener claims to have seen him break into the home, which does not really make sense to me. Why he... How he could see that. But a gardener saw him garden. running in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, you see, see if guy I was this Wolverine and my intent was to break into the home and the man saw me, I would just not do it. Yeah, well, <laughs> some some professionals, and he may not be a professional, being he looks like Valentine's scum, don't want to add a murder charge to them breaking and entering. They're just coming here for a sole different purpose, whether that be stealing something a valuable or sending a message. I don't think... Falcon with the gardener is part of that message. Unless the guy's too slow. Uh, I don't think that uh, this ghost fella is the brightest spark. One, he calls himself... Uh, sorry, whatever, he's Wolverine. One, he calls himself the Wolverine. That's, that's strike one. Uh, he came looking for work, according to the gardener, but then proceeded to go in the side door and steal from us. So if a man's looking for work, why is he stealing from the people he wants to be his employers? He's obviously not all there and that's why i can completely believe that he walked straight in the front gate past the gardener and you know did what he did yes the gardener I had a conversation agree, with the guy just cannot wrap my head around this man he must know the house he just broke into it's i just don't understand it is a pretty big fucking house wolf and we can't have guides patrolling 24-7. <sighs> I'll tell you this. This is how you're going to find the guy. You're going to find the guy by not asking about him. Because we already have enough to know what the guy looks like. And now he's stupid enough to hang around Saint Denis and try and even stupider enough to try and break into this house. So, one... Gardner knows what he looks like, so if he ever comes around again, the gardener's gonna know. Two, we have a pretty good physical description on the guy, even the kind of clothes that he wears. And three, the crate 
and all the other stuff that was taken was taken about maybe two, two, three hours ago. So there you go. You got you got a time interval, right? I was here at the house all fucking day, and the only time I left was around that time. When I came back, that's when all the shit was gone. The gardener was the only one here. So if you put it two and two together, yeah, it either could be the gardener or he's telling the truth. There he is. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm not sure. Either way, he's 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 not smart. He's probably gonna turn up around to get here again. And when he does, well, yeah. we know what he looks like. So we have pretty much three important things: a description, a time interval, and a witness. That's that's it. How can we just trust the gardener? It's not a matter of trust. I mean, it's like Winchester said: the guy will show himself again. If he's stupid, right, he's going to want to try and take from us again. Which is where the time interval comes into place. Huh? He'll probably try it around the same time, seeing as he saw that nobody was here but the gardener. Then he also saw that the gardener is probably not going to do anything and asked for a name and alias. This guy will probably give a different stupid fucking name next time. All right, so here's the plan. We'll give the gardener a bunch of cocaine and a hammer. I think you see where I'm going with this. I... Fuck, I mean, he'll be working all day, night shifts and all, overtime. I mean, I was simply just going to say maybe we give the guy a gun. No. I mean, the, the neighbors down the street have it. He's got a knife. I don't... I don't think he knows how to use a gun. I mean, any idiot with a finger can shoot a gun. Just get him yeah, a double. Any idiot with a finger can blow their own fucking fingers off. Oh come on, he's a Maybe guy. No, the, 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 the guy, the, the guy, hmm? the guy cuts fucking bushes for a living. I, I, I don't think he's dumb enough to shoot his fingers out. I, I mean, use a if, blade every day. If we give him a gun, that implies the fact that he should, you know, use the gun if people are on Not the Not exactly. I, 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 I talked to him about to it. We don't need. I you talked talk to, to him, him about, about it. it. Not about the gun thing. I said, I'll bring it up and maybe it might be possible. But I said, hey, your number one priority if somebody threatens you is to fucking leave the house. All right? I said, what's important is that you Wait, have so you no wanted the gun? Who came in here? Get a name. Get a description. Then get yourself out. Important. Because that kind of stuff is for us to deal with. So keeping him armed would at least make sure he don't fucking die. Did he want this gun? Is that he what didn't he asked ask for? for it. No, he didn't ask for a gun. He didn't ask for anything. I just thought, hey, I'll talk to the brothers about it. It might be smart to have him at least armed. You see. Oh. For his own safety, you know. You want to give the man who pisses himself when a leaf rolls over his shadow a loaded gun and tell him if something happens, shoot this guy? That is what does not, does not add up to me. He's, he's, this man is clearly a coward, so. He's very Ow. clearly, and I mean, as much shame as there is to that, you don't fucking, this isn't the kind of life he's looking to lead. Well, it is not about shame, but it makes me wonder why he's stuck around life. after seeing it, this man, no? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot going on here. Uh, a, a life? What do you mean, Oliver? As in life. any sort of life where you harm another. Like, there are people out there who don't ever want to harm somebody. You know that, right? Even yeah, in self defense. No, right, right. He's one of those people, AKA total bitches. I'm sure he just wants the gun maybe to be intimidating with this so he could fuck off after. I mean, anybody, anybody in their right mind will be fucking terrified of a gun. I'm sure, I'm sure the guy don't want to hurt nobody or, or you know, scare the fucking life out of somebody. But, you know, hey, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's either him or this fucking Wolverine guy. And I'm sure it'll most likely be him if he's got to get out. That's just me. Any coward would, would see that. I think it just it promotes him to use the gun. And if he starts letting shots off or even pulls it out, it's going to inspire this. Wolverine folk to draw as well, and the last thing we need is a shootout in the fucking garden. 
Exactly. And if he wants a fucking gun, he can buy one himself and protect himself just like every other fucking citizen in America. That's what makes this country so goddamn great, baby. It's not the freedom. It's not the rights. It's the fucking guns. That's what America's all about. And if he wants to get himself a gun, he can get himself a gun. I'm sure he has a gun where he sleeps, but he's not allowed to have one on the property. That's the thing, Oliver. He's not allowed to have? Who said that? He's a gardener. Why, why would he even have a gun on the property? Nobody said that, but I, I mean, mean this, got a point. This, this kind of common sense. Sometimes those those weeds can get real tricky to cut. <laughs> oh, yeah, so let's, let's bring a fucking pump shotgun to, to take care of it. Yeah. Should get him a, you know, should get him a pizza cutter, real quick. you know what I mean? Yeah. Really think about it. Get him a pizza cutter. I'm just I saying. He, I think you know he's already I mean? got one. I mean, the guy is good with fucking blades, right? He's good with, you know, cutting, trimming, right? He's I mean, not a giving... fucking killer. He's a fucking gardener. He don't gotta be a killer. He's just gotta be able to defend himself, Oliver. He can't if he's not a killer. What I mean, are you, you not could... getting about that? I mean, you could teach him. I ain't teaching him shit. Let's let's keep the gardener as the gardener, and uh, you know we'll sort the the Wolverine guy out ourselves. Whoa, what was it that you said? You you said something earlier. Well, I simply think something is not adding up with this gardener. That is all. Why, you think he's undercover? It's not even that. It's two things. One, he's trying to impress the family by claiming he saw everything. Or two, he is somehow involved. I mean, I don't know. I, I saw when Oliver grabbed him and he, he definitely pissed himself. I, I can't yeah, see how like that. Was, it was extremely convincing. But I think Will might be onto something. If somebody was breaking into my house... And I was a coward. I would just run. He claims to have seen everything, but... Well, not I only that, he that is true. the guy. Yes. You know, when, when you put it like that... Who, who hired him, do we know? I don't think it was anybody sitting here. I think it was Pearly. Pearly, I believe, yeah. I mean, Pearlie's really good at vetting people for stuff like this. Well, I could be wrong, but... No, I can right. just not wrap my head around it. When he first came around, Cesari and I had a brief moment. We really thought he sounded like this guy, Captain Henderson. No. It's He's... not him. But we've thought that he might not be who he says he's a, he is before, which is kind of why I'm always calling him by a different name. I'm always calling him Rolf instead of Rob, and he, he's hardly ever corrected me. Think this guy's in the coven? I think there's something else going on to this guy, yeah. I think was on to something. I mean, oh, think geez, about it. Who, what just... is it with the gardeners in this fucking place? You know what I mean? Gardeners, alien, me and Dom had to take care of the other fucking gardener. This is he just walked what I house. was fucking talking about. I was saying house. this earlier. I fucking fired his ass. Well, you I'm don't have saying. permission to do that. He's going to come back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my fucking. They only take fucking orders from like Sonny and Sazat. They're the ones who hired them. You're just some random asshole to <laughs> I'm just some random asshole to them. And with all due respect, that might be a blind sight that Cesar and Sonny have. And we, we, we. if I wanted to act malicious towards the family, the first thing I would do is become a gardener. Like a a combat gardener. 
He's in the fucking trenches. <laughs> Got his knife between his teeth. Mud in his boots. Deep in the willow bush. <laughs> I mean, cold. if you're going to be saying this, uh, you got to have something to go on. I mean, simply him just meeting the guy. That's that, it, It's not enough. Yes, which is what I'm trying to Why find out. A... But I cannot believe somebody would just break into this home to idea. steal a painting. It, there has to be idea. more to this. The painting was taken, right? Yes. Why not tell where the gardener lives? Because he don't sleep here. He figure out if he's got the painting with him. Huh? That's a good idea, I think. That is a good idea, and you should do that. However, Wu saying that he didn't just break in here for the painting makes me realize the only other thing he did other than the medical supplies was rummage through that desk in the office that looks like it would hold a lot of important documents and shit. But I don't think it does. You see, the intent, well, our assumption is that this man is stupid. And what if that is what he's intended? To cover something else. I've not been is around long, reason? but I can't imagine how many times somebody has broken into this home. Uh... More than I thought, but less than you'd think. Is the reason you're so fucking quiet? Because you're so... You, like, when you talk, you're fucking smart? Because you're a goddamn genius for that <laughs> last bit. Jesus Christ, come here. <laughs> I... Look it's... at you. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> you're a genius. Mwah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a genius, but I prefer to observe more than talk. Wish I could do that. I'm a fucking talkative asshole. <laughs> I love how he just pulls so the side of the ponies out here. Fucking guy in this, ain't <laughs> Get the hammer. Cesare has my hammer. You can borrow mine. Uh... Hey, good to see you. That will get us hey. both in trouble. How you doing? Okay. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, don't call me sweetheart. Thank you. Okay, oh. sorry. No. Oh. Jeez. Well, you don't like sweetheart? No, I don't like sweetheart. Why would it... What's wrong with it's sweetheart? It's condescended. It's, is it? Yeah, it, it, it really is. It can be. It can be. And I don't I'm like sure, it. I'm sure you meant it with no malicious intent. No, but I still don't like it. Sheesh! Well, all right. We've discussed our plan to murder Rolf. <laughs> Have fun. Where's Have Tony? Fun. Now. Where's Tony? What the fuck? Where is Tony? Oh, he just walked outside. What, he was fucking babysitter? Do we know where the gardener sleeps? Yeah, where's babysitter? We don't. Why don't you find out for me? I will look into it. And we're not sure who has hired him. I'll ask. I gotta give Cesare something anyways, so I'll uh I'll ask if it was him or Sonny. Okay. Come on. Uh we're, we're going. Where where'd Tony go? Is he out there? Uh, he's out there, yeah, yeah. Let's Motherf go. Mike, stay comfy. What? Where are you going? I, I don't know. I we came back many... here for Olivia and, um... Yeah, yeah, Benjamin's got... Where is he going? I don't know. Also, what's, what's it with you and the fucking gardeners, Wu? You, you seem to have it really out for all the gardeners. Well, that is not by choice. No, I know, I know. I I don't think it is, at least, but... But goddamn. Antonio. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I, I was just very confused for a moment. I had no idea what was going on. Because <laughs> <laughs> the guy, I thought it was a guy from the boat, but it wasn't a guy, it was a guy. And, yeah, whatever, it's, it's fine. I'm just, he's fucking guiding this. I swear to God, 
I feel like every day there's something new with these fucking guidance. The one, Flint, fucking carves something on the tree over there to the right. The next one walks through the fucking house. Doesn't say a goddamn word. Doesn't say anything at all to anybody. Disrespects everybody. Comes in. Keeps his fucking hat on. Puts his coat on. Gun belt. Doesn't take anything off. Walks through. Go to the back. What does he do? Keep walking away. Me and Dime approach him. What does he say? Nothing. He puts his hands on fucking Dime. So we start beating his fucking ass. Tell him he's fired. Then we come back over here. And now the fucking house has been robbed. This guy obviously fucking... I don't fucking know. I don't know what to think of anything... Something new. A scale of one day. to ten, how much do you like the sound of your own voice? <laughs> okay, all right, Ali, take it easy. Okay, I'm just asking. You it's can't a, a simple tell question. me that you it's literally like, just I, said I know, in the other I know, room that you literally talk all the time. I know, pop me kettle. I know, but okay, I'm just saying it's like right. yin and yang over here. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, talk, yeah, talk, yeah, talk, yeah, talk, indeed, talk, 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 and then it's just silence. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Jesus, silence. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need a fucking drink. Oh, <laughs> are you crying? Pirate rum. He's crying. Oh, come, come here, come here, uh, <laughs> come here. I didn't. <laughs> Detective Wu, man, on the case. Those have been rummaged through. Painting has been stolen. Must have exited through the back door. They said he came through the back door. Pair of black boots place neatly. That might mean nothing though. Lock is recently cleaned. That's the oh, the gardener could have cleaned up shit, chat. Like Brian Knight, dude. What if the gardener covered everything up? Yeah, it was eight hours ago, but what if you came in here and clean up the evidence, man? Wait, what?
I mean, our only lead is the Garter, and I'm surprised we let him walk away that easily, if I'm being honest. Sounded sounded just like a Hey, didn't they fucking neighbor they a Bonnie? Christ. Didn't Bonnie come by and give you fucking scone filled cocaine? Or yeah, cocaine filled sleep. scones. I didn't sleep at all. Oh I ate my all of them. God. Jesus oh fuck. my god. What are we gonna my, do? Eh? My, woo, my throat woo, hurts. Woo, woo. Yeah, no shit. Yes. Do you take do you take bumps? I'm not sure what that is. <gasps> Oh my Changes god. Life. No, Changes stay the fuck life. stay the fuck Changes away life. from him. Stay the Go fuck away life. from him, both of you now. That's in order. That's in order. Take a little boo. Ooh. Change. If you like Change your mind, if twice. you like your mind the way it is right now, don't take a fucking bump. Okay? Do yourself a favor. Stay sober like me and Santino. It'll be fine. I'm giving you an order to give him a bump. You want me to give him a bump? Give him a bump. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Just say no. Just say no. Just say no. All you gotta do is just say no. This needs to be soldat on soldat, so there's no orders involved. Just me ordering one soldat to give the other one drugs. All right. This little bag here is a thing bag. that is a great thing. It's a beautiful right. thing. It's white powder that's in this bag. Why are you like that? It's gonna <laughs> make you feel like imaginary things just strong energy power yeah. big fucking muscles in a boy eating the spinach hey oh 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 come on all right look just fucking i uh, just sniff this all right snort it baby just snort it right off the fucking knife. Just snort that shit. Is it an RP bump? Nothing bad can happen from this. I don't know if I will. He's unconvinced oh. you didn't sell him on oh. the bump enough. Well, I'm not going to fucking make him do it if he doesn't want to do it. Why? Well, nobody said anything about making him do it. You want to do it or what? I just said you didn't sell it. Well, I'm not fucking selling it. Well, no, you're not selling it, but you're not like selling it. You, you know? sell it. I don't want to sell it. I've already All right, said it. Well, I'm putting it back in the fucking bag. You yeah, good job. You good put job. it in your bump holster? Yeah, I did. Fuck. <laughs> you're gonna have did to take a bump. Did you want one, one? day, pal? No. Well, it might be crazy, but what if the, the gardener? Cleaned up anything he wish he did not want us to see. Oh shit. Oh, I understand shit. why he doesn't want to take a bump. I know. If he got he's any saying. smarter, his I know head what would he's explode. saying. You're saying the garden is a fucking cleaner. I'm not for certain, but I'm not You're trying to rule out any cleaner than a gardener. Ali. Huh? He's not a fucking guy, man. What is He's it? He's a fucking cleaner. He's what? He's a fucking cleaner. He's, He's not a guy, man. He's a goddamn cleaner. He's what? He's a fucking cleaner. He's a clean. He's a fucking cleaner, you dumbass. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I, I just think you fucking knocked him out. Oh, no, he's fine. He just needs a little bump. Stop, okay, no, stop with the hey, fucking bumps hey, for a second, all right? A little bump. Hey, <laughs> hey! Hey, 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 take it easy. What's that, what's that I smell? Oh, what's that I smell? God. Don't take it away, don't take it away. Come on, I bring think back you the are the only fucking bring sane one here. Bring it back to daddy, bring it back to daddy. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Well, come on, come on, come on. This is my captain, so I go a friend. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Step in, step in, step in.
I'm sorry, what were saying? I think we were saying that the guy was the guy that may have cleaned some things up that we didn't want to see. Or he didn't oh, want to see. Oh, very clever. It's not wrong. That, it's not wrong to be honest. What wouldn't, wouldn't be hard to do. We crossed the wrong synchronized there. Well, I believe he's the only potential potential we have to finding out who did this. Or finding the man. All right, Woo. You're having a lot of clever ideas about this one, so, uh... Why don't you look into this for me? I don't want you to fucking do anything without talking to me, though. Of course. I never would. Good. Find out where he lives. Try not to be seen. If you are, just, uh, be Woo about it and say approximately ten words every five hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Jesus. What, All right. And what was the once gardener's out, name again? He calls himself Rob, but I've called him by three or four different names, and he's responded to just about all of them. And how often does he come here? Fairly often. A couple days a week. Let's see. I will be back. His name is Rob and there's been a robbery. <laughs> Can you imagine? Where? Oh, this is Bass's house. Whoa, where are you going? Poor. Ask some questions. At this place? Yes. Okay. Well, I have noticed that the bald man here has hired Damn the best. same gardener the brothers have. Ah, okay. Smart idea, actually. Hmm. Anybody home? I don't know. I not think anyone is home. No, I think somebody is home. Hey, how you doing? Is somebody there? Uh, -huh. uh no, I don't think anybody is here. That's why. Oh. You live We're here. just knocking. No. Let's see. I've been trying to see Sam for a while. But I never run into him. Well, I mm -hmm. heard he was dead. Oh, is he? There was a woman. I don't know. He's me. A few days ago. Claiming he was dead. And Antonio uh, was comforting her. In this moment. You sure it was Sam? I am not for certain, but it's what I heard. You know who Antonio was uh, comforting? I'm sorry, uh, I'm I'm Mysteria. I believe her name was Peaches, I think. Oh. I know she was crying over Sam. What's your name, sir? My name is Wu. Wu? Okay. Yes. My name is Mysteria. I work over at the pawn shop. Do you know a man named Rob? Rob? 
Yes, he's a gardener. Or claims to be one. Mm. No. I don't think I know Rob. I see. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You? Mm. No, I'm just with them. Okay. Uh, your name? Was... Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't know you was asking. Uh, mm -hmm. Dominic. My name's Dominic Souza. Dom for Dom. sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if nobody's home, um, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, uh, right. We're not gonna stop you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice meeting you. Who is All right, that? don't look anybody here. Wisteria? Oh, she works with uh, Klaus, the pan store. See? Uh, I don't know. Uh, stay cautious of her. That's all. Or watch what you say around there, rather. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, telling her about peaches or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> don't want to stir up no pot we're a part of. You know what I mean? Well, I am not a liar. So. Well, of course you're not. It's not like you was lying to her. You just brought up the fact that Antonio was comforting a girl and then she inquired further about it. You wouldn't have been lying if you didn't mention that. Well, Ain't nothing I, lying about not saying something. Well, I do believe Antonio's in love with her. I'm sorry, what? I, well, I've never seen him comfort a woman like that before. Besides the wife he used to have. Before she passed. He's never been that way with any other doll? Not that I have seen. I cannot say for certain. Maybe you should remind him that, uh, love, romance... That's the kind of shit that happens in fucking books, all right? There's well, no place for business. That is what he says. He says, love is bad for business, but... <laughs> do not believe he believes that. Yeah, if that's the case, he's got to stop making all this fucking time for all these dames. You know fucking Renny? Yeah, she just came around the house looking for him. I had to tell her to fuck off. That Antonio's not here at the house right now. You know what? I'm getting kind of fucking sick of it. All right? Antonio needs to set his priorities straight. Well, he's fucking can... dolls showing up at the fucking house. Well, it's like I've said before. Antonio has an appetite, and he will do whatever it requires to. Well, have that fed. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you. Ain't nothing bad with talking with some girls, right? But... As long as you ain't fucking loving them or nothing like that. Pleasure. Now that's fine. That's fucking fine. I do not see a difference. What do you mean? Difference between pleasure and love? Well, Antonio. Pleasure is love for him. Eh, uh, you can't mix those two up. Not at all. It's bad. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, he's dead, by the way. Huh? What? He ain't dead. Oh. Well, how do you know? Because I saw Antonio. Well, is Antonio aware he's not dead? Well, you said you heard wrong. Antonio's the one who told me he was dead. Well, I just talked to Antonio. I see. Mm hmm Now I'm starting to uncover the truth. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day, man. <laughs> <clears throat> I believe Antonio lied to me, so I would not assume he's in love with her. All right. And good job, by the way. Or what? By not taking a fucking bump. Well. 
I love whiskey. And that is enough for me. <laughs> yeah, you it is. drink whiskey? Yes. Hey, you probably have a lot in common. Yeah, he's a simple guy. He's probably around. I would love to speak to him. Uh, uh, he was, he's uh, here earlier, but... He's early squad, usually. Yeah. See, is Antonio around? Uh, he just left. He went on a date with Rennie, who I may or may not kick the ever-loving shit out of. Why? Why? She's come here fucking twice asking for him. Because she keeps on hitting me when I tell her not to. You want me to kill her? Uh, hold on. No! Why is Antonio even with her? <clears throat> Last time I spoke to Antonio about it, apparently they're not fucking friends no more. Well, they were pretty fucking friendly. This is what I mean. Antonio... Well... No, I, I don't want you to kill her. not my business, yeah. but he's been trying to fill the void of his wife. Ever since she died. That's a hell of a bond to drop, unsuspectingly, Woo. Well, me and Dom were speaking about it not too long ago. So his <laughs> wife died, huh? Where'd he go? Yeah. He went he on that date with Rennie, and then he's gonna head to bed. He was no quite way. literally about to head to bed before Rennie showed up. Oh my god, I gotta go too. What the fuck? <clears throat> you don't know where I went, though. No, I didn't ask. I was kind of seeing red, and the only reason I didn't kick the shit out of her right then and there is because Antonio was trying to not make me not do but it. Dude, I lost complete track of time. I have to go, but, but I'm if not she even hits ready. me again, I. I Told them to make oh God, sure to she understands where we are. If she hits oh. me again, I am going to beat the shit out of her. Well, I will do oh. what you wish. Let me let me talk to the brothers. Oh, oh my surgeon! Your Anyways, surgeon. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm going to head out of town and try to find this man, and I will see you all tomorrow. Well, what's your telegram number? You. Should I walk away? I it mean, is, uh, are you are you okay with her knowing your telegram number potentially? I do not care. I do not use this okay. form of communication. So. Okay. Well, I I need to have it just in case I need to get in touch with you. Yes. It is E I five seven one. All right. Mine is M S nine eight one. If you want to write that down. Well, I. Do not need it. I do not use a telegram. Can you read a telegram? Yes, I love reading. You just don't like writing. Okay. Well, I just do not like people, but yes. At some point in the future, you may or may not have to get over there, but okay. Have a good night, Will. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. I was so getting into this arc of trying to find this guy, man. What the fuck? I'm pissed. Oh, Carmen, they were the 25 gifties, man. You can tell, dude. I, com I completely lost track of time. I was getting into it. I even hit a little bit of the pen, man, to get really into it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Well, whatever. We have an arc for... We have an interesting arc. I like this uh, investigation shit. But uh, chat, we will be live tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow I want to do Red Dead. I think we're going to use a different outro song. I really like this other song as the outro. Or well, as a song anyways, but. But uh, chat, I really want to do Red Dead tomorrow, but uh, we have a lot of RP lined up for GTA, so we'll see how it goes, okay? I, I love Red Dead, man. I don't even give a shit give a shit about the viewer hit. I just get so immersed on the server. It's crazy. A uh, little bit of a chill day for Woo, but still some interesting RP. I will be live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific. I have to go right now. Otherwise, I'd stream longer. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Love you guys, chat. I'm just going to go literally right now, so I love you. Bye.